Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I got a lot of windows open on my screen and a dog on my lap. And dogs on the screen. Well, it's the same dog. I took a picture of Pixie yesterday and I took it uh, with the Canon PowerShot TX1, which was just reviewed by CNET and they gave it a relatively mediocre rating, I think 6 out of 10. They weren't too impressed with it. However, the users gave it a much higher rating because they're not expecting you know, miracles with a camera that only costs $500. And I say only because cameras, believe you me, can cost much more than $500. Some of the complaints were uh, focused on things that I complained about too. The ergonomics, the control factor is just kind of awkward. But some of them were complaining about the amount of noise that you would get in lower light situations. And to me, that's par for the course. Camera noise is inevitable, especially when you're not using a flash or you're trying to take a picture in very low light. And noise is the graininess of a photo. You've noticed it before whether you realize it or not. It is apparent when you are in lower light situations. So, and I'm not going to go into the details of it, largely because I'm not, you know, a photography expert. I just know what it is, and I also know how to fix noise in digital photos. There's freeware that's available cross-platform since it's Java, runs in Windows XP or in, uh, in Mac OS X. It's called, well, it used to be called Absolute Denoiser. It's now known as ND Noise. And with it, you bring in your photo, you adjust the noise filtering levels, how much smoothing you want to do, how much retexturizing you want to do. You press apply, it cleans up the photo. It makes it a cleaner color all the way around, cleans out the noise, smooth things out uh, so that visually you're left with a much more compelling image. Again, it's kind of subjective. So, Well, at least in my opinion, it's absolutely subjective. Uh, speaking in absolutes, and I realize only Sith Lords speak in absolutes. Picasa is great. Unfortunately, Picasa doesn't do a, a good job, if it does a job at all, with denoising photos. The program that I prefer to use is on Windows. It's called Neat Image, and it's available at neatimage.com. The uh, what you can do with it, you bring the photo in much like you would with any application. It has, in some cases, depending on which version you register, has camera profiles already set up, and the idea is that it knows what kind of noise uh, profiles one particular camera will take versus another and adjust your image accordingly so you don't have to do a lot of messing around with various settings. So when I loaded the image of Pixie in here and pressed the uh, or cho chose a, a filter preset of just removing half the noise it, de uh, it did an amazing amazing job. I didn't even resharpen it or anything and I exported both the photos, uh, the original and then the filtered image, to Flickr so that anybody could take a look and judge for themselves on what kind of job Neat Image did with filtering out the noise in this particular photograph. Uh, but that's uh, if, if you want to clean up your photos that you've got a lot of noise with, uh, Neat Image is my recommendation over the free program, uh, largely because it's been developed really quite actively over the past few years. It's only gotten better with time and has gotten easier to use, as a matter of fact, with live previewing, um, you know, easy export options. The only thing it could be uh, that would be nicer is being able to save the photo out directly to Flickr, but not many applications do that at this point. Not everybody uses Flickr. Some people may use Zoomer. So uh, I, I'm still really happy with this uh, particular camera in the same situation, uh, in the same lighting. I took a manual white balance like I did with Pixie. Uh, even though she's not white, I just took a, a white balance against a, a sheet of paper, a white sheet of paper. I did the same thing with this plate of sushi, set it to the vivid profile again, and uploaded it to Flickr. And I think it's absolutely amazing. I, 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 the noise is apparent, uh, but all I have to do is run it through the Neat Image Pro and I'll be just happy. That, you know, you might think about denosing your photos if you're wanting to save them on your computer and, sh and share them that way. But honestly, when I've printed these digital photos, I can't tell that there's noise. Because, well, at least this camera takes 7.1 megapixel images, and you, you shrink it down to, well, let's say the photo is 4 by 6 uh, you can't tell. The noise is just like almost completely gone because it's been resized to the point where the noise just disappears. So you may not even uh, have to denoise your photos unless there's massive amounts of it. Um, you don't see any sushi? Well, that's that's the dog over here. This is the do you're not sushi, Pixie, are you?
she likes sushi. She loves sushi. We just don't give it to her because, you know, it's probably it's probably not good for dogs. I don't know. Maybe it is. You want sushi? You want a treat, don't you? All right. Here's your treat. It's not sushi. It's a little rawhide. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you, Pixie. Sushi will make me sick? Yeah, but it tastes so darn good.